This is about George Soros, Kate Brown, uh, probably Anna J. Brown, uh, Boyd Britton, Cliff, uh, Cliff Betts, Ted Ferrioli, uh, Gordon Smith, and, every, and Ron Wyden. Let's not forget Ron Wyden. And everybody else that we can think of. Anyways, here's a timeline. This is all coming out of Kate Brown's office. And I'll tell you why. On January 19, 2016, there's a communication between Sheriff, uh, Sheriff Ward, so-called Sheriff Ward, let me, point, let me call him out, appointed Sheriff Ward. He would, there's a communication going on. This is, this is at 1.15. Kate Brown also has another communication uh, with the White House at 1 p.m. We have an 11 a.m. with the senior staff meetings, and then we have a 30 a.m. with, with us with Grassley, with Stephen E. Grassley and Senator Whiting on January 16th of, of 2006 timeline. On January 20, 2016, we see more communication, now with the FBI Director, Jer James Cormier. And here it is, it's all documented. On January 21st, 2009, all documented right here, coming out of Kate Brown's office, we have Valerie Jarrett and we have Greg, Greg, Greg Brensing communicating on January 21st, of 2016, on how they were going to orchestrate this. January 24th, 2016, another conversation between Kate Brown's office and Valerie Jarrett, right here documented. We have another documentation on January 27th of 2016. Kate Brown's office to Valerie Jarrett, right here. All this brings out on the time frame, on the timeline, on why they were going to go ahead and try to kill not just the boy, but our entire Patriots. Yeah, they only were able to get the boy. And my condolences go to the Lavoie family. But this is why. Now, we got the timeline of the assassination. Now we're going to find out why they did it. In two thousand, right, right, right after the Lavoie assassination, January seventeenth of two thousand sixteen, Calico Resource got the go ahead to go and start mining for gold. Now, this is what's so beautiful. We have a letter coming out of the state of Oregon that gives a go-ahead for Calico Resource to go ahead and extract gold from Grassy Mountain and the baseline under TRT, Technical Review Team, which is unconstitutional just like the ORS, the Oregon Revision Statutes. Right here you go. Who gave the approval of Vance Thornsberry and behind Calico was also Richard Riggs, Assistant Director, Oregon Department of Geology and Mineral Industries on the TRT, Technical Review Team. So let's not forget this. But prior to this, there was already an ongoing deal on who was going to invest on this gold. And we all know the name, the famous name, George Soros. George Soros comes out in December of 2015. That is documented and purchasing gold with Barrett Gold Inc. Who's Barrett Gold Inc.? He's affiliated with Harry Reid and Roy Reid. That represents Barrett Gold Inc. And also the big, huge campaign contribution to the Harry Reid Foundation. Let's not forget that, Harry Reid. And uh, so here we go. We got right here Kate Brown's letter to the John, January 20, 2016, to Honorable Loretta Lynch. Here you go how they're planning to orchestrate the assassination of Lavoie and our Patriots. We have another letter coming out of Kate Brown's office on January 20, 2016. And this, and, and, this is, and this is lovely, because I want every American person to research and read it for yourself and look at the time frame. This is not me. 
And this is Calico Resource. Calico Resource went ahead and started purchasing all this gold from 2011 trying to get the baseline. I didn't create this. Go look up on Calico Resource. It says gold right there. Grassy Mountain. They're in the New York Stock Exchange right there. It's all, it's all articulated for every American person to put the time frame and put all the names and faces all together and find out who, who donates to these individuals, how they get kickbacks. Right here, can't get any clearer white and day than that. And to top it off, that can support my time frame of what I stated, Every American person can go to the bulletin, which was uh, the governor release uh, now here occupation communications. Over a thousand pages of emails and texts, and it was done on March the 4th of 2016 at 12.30 a.m. This is uh, an article that came out, and everything is stated and articulated in there. Now, the sad thing is not every American person has the time to read a thousand pages. But by all means, go ahead. And when you get done reading those 10,000 pages, go read Calico Resource and go read how George Soros purchased gold on Calico Resource. It's all documented. This didn't come out of me, nor did I create it in my, in my own fictional imagination. Let's say, you know you're making money off of this. Alyssa Acosta, uh, or Scott Acosta, you're also making money out of this. We know you are. Brown. Yeah. Kate Brown. Let's not forget your brother Lyndon, uh, Lyndon, uh, uh, Lyndon Zakes. Oh, but then, then again, they're all owned, all the media over there. And, and uh, by the way, yeah, Harney County and Grand County, how can you skew the narrative for all the Oregonians? And oh, by the way, you do also work for the Oregonian. Let me clarify that. You do work for the Oregonian where you can skew the narrative. But guess what? These documents and your, and your W-2 forms do not lie. So why don't we bring out your W-2 forms and let's see how you guys screw the American people. How you betray the American people, how you destroy the American people's lives through your false narratives and your and your grant funds. How you write and manipulate grant funds so you can so, so you can profit and all your cronies like Zach Williams and Jack Williams and Boy Britton and Stephen E. Grasty. So let's not forget that the documents are right there. I don't have nothing to hide. I'm matter of fact, I'm here right now in Portland coming to visit our patriots. And I'm and I'm not and guess what? We already met. And I know who you, and you know and I know that we already met, so you can see my face and I already see your face. And guess what, I'm not hard to find. And don't come and try to bring out their racial attacks because I'm not racist. But guess what, if you want to call me racist, then I might as well be white. <laughs>